Hey, 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 out there in interwebs. Welcome to another stream of Starfield. This is part 27 in our little adventure through space and time. Mostly just space. But anyway, I was trying to stream That's earlier the I same the thing, but reason my bit rate on my uh, deal was going together. all over the place. Oh my so I had to restart God, the whole stream. Um, to be honest, I didn't miss much of it. It's been yeah, we're running around time really flies. the city of Neon. Trying to figure out some stuff that's going on in this little shady place. Uh, where our last stream left I off, you're helping out some kind of criminal and it, it wasn't even uh, rehabilitation camp, maybe? So, I know, right? I, I could sell it. Yeah, we were doing I some stuff with that. Now we're trying it's to help out some people here in Neon. Right? Hopefully, this time, my stream stays uh, steady, but we'll see. Because earlier it would not cooperate with me whatsoever, so and I'm hoping that now I have fixed it and things are good to go. But you never really know how things are going to turn out. You know what I mean? So hopefully everybody's having a great night. Ooh, let's keep it rocking. Don't go causing trouble. I always am. I always I am. Keep your nose clean. Last Keep your ass one. clean. Well, I guess I need to go to Kelp Corp. How's it going again? Hopefully that desk is still clean. What? I'm working here. What? Who are you talking to? Their name is Employee. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. Well, let me tell you, it ain't a snake. Some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hmm. How if I know? But they think it is. And that makes them dangerous. I need to get security out of here. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. I'm glad I ended up at Pelt Corp. Ms. McKenna treats her employees. What am I supposed to look? Oh. Well, that's optional, like family. right? I mean, I found it, so... Do I save? Probably. We'll see what we can get done. Mind me, neon security. I gotta go. Can I tell what? Uh oh. We'll see if the guy's a dick or not. Because I think, is it an option to talk to her too? Hmm. We'll see. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and go get me some snacks. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's, it's you because you don't wipe your ass properly. Moving on. Must be the place. I don't think I've ever had a reason to go in here. Here's the mining league. Or the League of Miners. So glad. Hello, my friend. I think I've talked to this guy before. Yes, my friend. It's amazing how much my fellow merchants have been motivated thanks to your kind actions. Well, you know. Knowing that no one's been alone with their troubles is just what everyone needed to hear. And now they're rising to the occasion. It's the dawn of a new day, my friend, and we have you to thank for it. Fantastical. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. Hmm. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Hmm. I am sorry, my friend, but I can do no such thing. 
When a man signs a contract, he must honor it, no matter the terms. Hmm. I do agree Kelt Corp has more than they can loan or spin. I got some pretty good persuasion, so. But you clearly don't need it. And I certainly do. <sighs> I suppose that is your point. Yeah, it is. I'm still willing to talk. It seems I have been too prideful. I have always believed that if a person works hard and makes no trouble, they can achieve any goal. But in reality, no one can do it alone. I'm grateful that you and Miss McKenna have reminded me of this. Tell her I will accept her generosity, and I will find a way to repay her kindness. Hot diggity day. What do you got for sale, buddy? Certainly, my friend. Oh, wait, is he got ammo? Nothing would make me happy. He does. It was good of you to stop by, my friend. Did you jam your sandwich down your back pocket there, did you, Chief? A little crazy. Oh, before we go back to the lobby, I might as well... Well, no. It's fine. You know I went to chef school? No. I didn't know you went to chef school. Seems like the crimson Did you know that I didn't go to chef school? Hell yeah. Hopefully this time she's not cleaning the shit out of that desk. Lovely day for it. Welcome to Kelt Core. That's fantastic. Is it now? I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so he I'm did. glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully father will forgive the late fees. And if he doesn't, I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And here for your efforts. Damn, hell yeah. How many points do I got? Thanks to you. It's nice visiting with you. Well, I try to help where I can. And when I can. Whoop. Yeah, beat. Have you tried one of our advanced uh, teller machines? Uh, this ship is an answer. It is not where you are. Here in Neon, you live in the rarefied air. Here in the Aporium. Oh, yeah, that's the weird ass shop, right? Yes. Can I help you? I'm sure you'll find the perfect gift. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just looking for eight items, so, you know. Doing what I can. What the hell are the chunks be? That looks gross as shit. Quieter. Much quieter. I think dealing with Headlock has convinced Seoka to back off from harassing my shop. Put you in a headlock? And according to what I've heard, everyone else has. This should finally give me the time I need to concentrate on running my business rather than wasting time looking over my shoulder. Or looking out your ass if you're not careful. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. What the hell? I just helped you. There's nothing to tell you. Get it through your skull. Right. Civic duty. Do you really believe that nonsense? Hmm. Pretty good. <sighs> I know what you're playing at. Hmm. That's probably true. Oh my like god, enough. Business. I'll tell you what I know. If it'll get you to leave. Yeah, swipe. <sighs> I saw it happen. 
Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. Hmm. No. The officer that threatened me was completely different. And the murderer wasn't wearing a uniform. I'd wager that the murdering bastard has a friend in security that's covering things up for him. Let's kick his ass, sea bass. Really? Am I not allowed to leave my own shop now? Yeah, if you really must know, I was going for a walk. Shocking, I'm sure. That don't sound right, but sure. Nah, come on. I'm not risking life and limb to save someone I barely know. There are people that get paid to do that. I'm not one of them. So I simply prioritized my own safety and didn't get involved. A lot of good that did me. Right. It uh, was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. Hmm. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits, and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. Big time. God, no. I've seen him around here and there, but if he ever were to come into my shop, I'd tell him to leave immediately. In fact, I would never even talk to someone like him. I have no business dealing with petty criminals or Aurora addicts. Hmm. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? Under he stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. In any case, when you confront him, my name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing Thomas's briny fate. And with that, I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. Yeah, my hefty purchase, my foot in your ass. Gotta go, you shit ass. Let's keep it rocking and rocking and going. Here. Time to choke him out. Hey, buddy. Why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? Your voice does not match your body whatsoever. And up in the ocean? What the hell are you... Wait. No, no, no. He, he told me that everything was taken care of. No one would know. Yeah? Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. Mm-hmm. I'm about ready to fuck you up. A friend. Uh, an old buddy in security. But that's all you're getting from me. I... I'd rather take my chances with you than with him. Oh, yeah? Why else? I needed some creds for Aurora. And everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. Then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. Hmm. Hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a rat. Oh, yeah? Listen, you look like a rat. I messed up. I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just come on. Just let me go. No way in hell. Oh, my God. You don't need to worry. No one will ever see me again. I, I swear it. I'm not going to try anything funny. This is the last you or anyone will ever see of me. I don't know. Should we let him go? Or should we take care of business right now? Did you need something? So, yes. Goodbye. I mean, if he says it's an accident. I don't know. I'll never come back. I swear. 
I mean, I guess it's not for me to. I am a ranger to, do, to get justice, but. Should have just taken him out. Maybe living in guilt the rest of his life. That'll, uh. That'll keep him there, I guess. I don't know. Drive him crazy. Scram. I'm on duty. I'll it's tell nice her. to see a friendly face. Please, tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. We'll chase him down. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. <sighs> Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. Mm. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends vandalism and shoplifting is one thing but murder i just never thought things could go this far so what did you do with rusty mm, nothing well i guess i don't much care for what you did with him as long as he paid for what he did and about security did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up I wish I knew. Yes, you're right. It just boils my blood thinking about what they did. But I must say that I feel oddly vindicated just by knowing the truth. The uncertainty was constantly eating away at me. At least I can take solace knowing that justice was served, at least to some degree. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Hmm. No, I'm declining payment. Oh, you're so sweet. In any case, please know how grateful I am that you helped me. You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. Damn. And now that I know the truth, I can try to focus on healing. Thank you for everything from both myself and Thomas. Sorry about Thomas, lady. Good luck on your your deal. That sucks. Um, what else we got here? We're just kind of doing some side questing. Not doing a whole lot of uh, main scenario stuff back yet. I wanted to kind of get some of these other stuff out of the way. I can never quite place the smell of Sidonia. Ozone and metal and and something vaguely old and ill kept. I want some patches on my damn armor or space suit, I guess. Sidonia. to its old ways. I suspect this soul system would be abandoned otherwise. Sedopia. Flaps. Run through the flaps. Do you imagine anyone actually enjoys living here? I simply cannot. Imagine Fighting's that. fair work, but you can't take it all so seriously, I always tell my mates. We're pulling rocks out of the ground, not building spaceships. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Right. 
Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? It might be. I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult to gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Yeah. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous. Yeah, it's pretty bad, buddy. Oh, come on, mate. It's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now and again. Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. Right. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that. You know how it is. Maybe. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Fantastic. Uh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the ass end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. I mean, that is the ass end. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Hmm. What do you think, huh? <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. Now do yourself a favor and get to know some of the miners. It'll remind you what you're doing this for. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? Right. I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. I have this, um, hmm. Okay, glad you're still on board. I suppose. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners. Even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits well, to buy day. all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. Yeah, don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore. So we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits and uh, other liabilities. So I don't make the rules. Right. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Guess we're going mining, folks. For spare parts. Looking for spare. I need mine for structural stability. Heather and iron, huh? Where can I do that at? Hmm. If you see something suspicious. Oh, is iron somewhere else? What the? No, don't go there.
I went on the wrong quest, but it's okay. Team quota. There's some planets there. up my dudes I don't see that damn thing anywhere hmm. damn it was there that's one thing you gotta look out for, because I always seem to click quests that I don't need. Or like, I accept a quest, but I'm clicked on the wrong one, so it sends me somewhere else. So always keep in mind with that kind of crap. Or you'll end up just backtracking like I did. I don't know what I want to talk to you. <laughs> Let's laser it up, folks. Any doubt of Sidonia's importance to the United Colonies and its industry? This certainly puts it to rest. Okay, that all you mind is great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Tricky Peter Dickie. Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. Huh. You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. That's weird. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Mm -hmm. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. Well, that blows. Now, hold on. It's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. Surely there must be someone else who can take such a ridiculous job. Man, she is not liking that. A reminder that bring your child to work day is not an officially sanctioned holiday and that it is not advised to allow children into potentially <laughs> dangerous work sites. Keep our children safe. Keep them out of harm's way. Thank you from the Sidonia Department of Labor. It's kind of funny. I wonder if it does take me right to the substation, though. These are like quests I should have done a long time ago, I think. Damo Star Yard offers competitive options for private buyers. Please dock to see our sales representative. Sure. If 
I don't crash first. Crash right into the station. Docking cycle complete. Hello, go Glover. Captain. Hello. Hello. I am satisfied. When humanity finally left. Welcome to Demos. The United I wish Demos was exclusively a military contractor. Sure. I figure out what this place is. Ah, it's nice to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> what? Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are you? Mm. <laughs> ah, should I bow or curtsy then? <laughs> both. Try to do both. I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. Mr. Henderson handles sales, but if you want to know anything about Harry our ships, Henderson? I'm your gal. Interesting. Hmm. The UC Navy. I repaired just about every class of vessel there is. I even repaired Henderson's longsword once or twice. I bet you you I did. I swear that man has a guardian angel with him full time. <laughs> or three. Deimos hired me because I know every rivet and microchip on these ships. So if Henderson gets stumped on something, it's showtime. I also agree with, I bet it is. I mean, they're very good, obviously. But these days, everyone's using the same core tech, right? Oh, shit. Do you know you can be lectured on being too honest? <laughs> right, right. Uh... What makes Deimos special, though, is the package. We've hmm. been building ships forever, and the way we put it all together, well, it's really good. In a, I'm gonna murder my enemies sort of way. Hmm? Right. Have you ever been put in a headlock? Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I take that as a compliment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. <laughs> Especially when you're Oops. doing something with yeah, somebody's sword. I probably sword. shouldn't say things like that, at least not so loudly. I've already been written up twice this week. I can only take so many lectures. <sighs> you're kind Man, of a loud mouth, I can mouth. really I use know. a drink. Hmm. Well, we don't have much of it at all. We have to keep up appearances. What I could really use is Jake Stout. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. Yeah? And Jake isn't friendly, but he can make a pretty good drink. Say, you're the traveling type, right? Oh, God. Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's stouts? Mm, I suppose. Awesome! Thank you so much. I eagerly await your return. I bet you you will, as per usual. Deimos and the yeah. UC are inexorably tied together. If one fails, the other does. Huh. I might not mind Deimos seeing that. Ships are responsible for countless victories. They're a true piece of history. It's interesting to see some of these ships, like, are they model ones, or... Or what? Interesting place. A list of opportunities. Hmm. Oh shit. Um Executive Assistant. Um Over ten years. Master's degree. Oh uh, man. Wait a minute, what? Is this how it's supposed to be? I don't know, Becky, about this. I mean, if they're gonna do this kind of crap, a little, uh, a little bogus, don't you think? But I'll see what I can do here. All right, what's the questions here? You'll be asked a series of questions. Blah blah blah. Assess your competence. I want you to bring them a whiskey neat. Okay. Holy shit. A full glass of whiskey. Two stones. Two thimbles of whiskey. Two drops of water. What? Remember that lady? She just said you can't drink on the job. Or drink here. 
What else we got? VIP arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive who's capably running late. What should you do? Um... Reschedule? Nothing? Entertain? I don't think they like jokes. Malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up, and they need to go to the an important off-world meeting. Of course, what's the action you take? Whoa. Off to then use your old banged-up ship? No. Contact the client and cancel the meeting? Maybe. Use company credits? Mm, probably that one. Get a ship towed to the shop? No. While handling the executive's email, you can come across a message with someone claiming you have damaging information by the executive. What should you do? So you gotta cover this shit up, I bet. Mm. Yep. No. Oh. Mm, maybe that one. Most likely this one. Right? Executive contacts you and asks you if you see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they are drunk. What do you do? Probably punch him in the junk. Security can have him. Please be aware all your answers are final and will be reviewed. Okay, if you like changing your actions. Well, there we go, I guess. Right? This is the heart of the UC. I'm glad you think that. I'm pretty sure I've never been here. Who are you? No other ship can hold a cat. What do we have here? A civilian in my star yard. Daimos prides itself on being the UC's first and last line of defense in space. But we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among the stars. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Deimos has a starship to fill every need. Science vessels and the like. But what we're known for, what we're built for, is combat. Deimos starships have seen more action in more theaters than any of our competitors. Get more action than a toilet seat. Right? History was forged in our star yard, time and time again. So, let's see about getting you a proper ship, one worthy of you. Damn. Yes, they are. I flew my longsword in 43 combat missions. It never once failed me. That's what you get with Deimos. Our ships have been battle tested for decades longer than anyone else. I mean, wow. I've had a long and successful military career. Deimos starships have played a major part in it. In fact, I'm sure that if I flew any lesser starship, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now talking to you. That's what Deimos affords you. The confidence to go soaring into the fire, the death, and know that you will make it out alive. Sounds expensive. I do love me some firepower. Then you'll love the ships we have on offer. If you ever get into a combat situation, your enemies won't know what hit them. And that's the way it should be. Hot ah, damn. Let's see their ships. The best decision you've made all year. Hmm. How do you compare? the long sword right there I oh, look at that bad daddy expensive Is that better than what I got I think you'll be more than satisfied. Yeah, because this is what I got now, I think. I got a funk with what I got now. Ooh. 
So that's the can, right? Pulse laser. Nothing too. Wish I knew. That laser is worse. I think I have the best laser on it right now. How about this guy? Missile launcher. Okay. Something about a suppressor. The shield's worse than what I have on here now. Damn, the ranger ships just kick ass. I know them. I know I don't like that one. Which buttons are these? Hmm. When you get serious about your spacecraft, come back to Deimos. If you want to survive out there, you've come to the right place. Yeah, well. You should you know. be honored to step foot in here. Enjoy your stay. Can you guarantee me? Can't guarantee shit. What the? Not sure what that's all about, but... Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan this, sucker. For some reason, I always think of... When I see like Saturn, I think of, uh, <laughs> this is going to sound random, a Blue's Clues song, believe it or not. Oh, what the hell's going on here? And how does it go? How does, how does this go? Yeah, it's definitely from Blue's Clues. It goes. Well, the sun's a hot star, and Mercury's hot too. Venus is the brightest planet, and Earth's home to me and you. Mars is the red one, and Jupiter's most wide. Saturn's got those icy rings, and Uranus spins on its side. Neptune really windy, and Pluto's really small. Well, we wanted to name the planets, and now we've named them all. <laughs> there you go. There's the jingle. If you ever, if you ever want to see it, first hand and sing by Blue, uh, not Blue, but Steve from Blue's Clues. Let's look up the Planet song. You know what I'm talking about. It's random, I know. Don't worry. We're gonna make sure you trust me. This is the okay. Now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll oh, need man. to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in So, it didn't matter what I answered with. Great. I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. Right. Believe me, if you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, 
She's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. Ah, damn. That's the spirit? Believe me, this is gonna help everyone. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy clever hour girl. and loud. Surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. All right, Chief. I'll try. Um... Man, there's like no gravity here. It's awesome. Light as a feather. <sighs> there's nothing like seeing all Saul coming through the big window in the morning. Sure. Ah, oh, she's at the terminal. Ah, uh, Deimos. One of the earliest shipbuilders. And desperate to remain relevant. Um, I'll just sit in this chair. Calculated, damn it. Okay, if no one else is gonna say it, I will. I'm ready to get out of here and go to the sphere. Do it. Jacked in, baby. New regulations. Where's the good whiskey? Job applications. Mm, delete. Delete. Oh. There we go. Nobody ever knew I was here. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Except for Lots this guy. Of, do you work for me? It's hard to keep track these days. Sure. In fact, I do not work for you, but holy shit. Don't worry. Trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Sure. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. Well, looky there. Congratulations. No problem, you goofy sucker. They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. What about the other app? Not really, and neither should you. Either those applications were old and those people have moved on, or as soon as you disappear after this, they'll get to hiring again. Fair enough. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. Alright, let's show us how it's done. Damn, they're all the way back up there again. 
Oh, that's why that Peter guy was. Kind of a dick. Hey, buddy. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. What? Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? I, you don't even know who the hell I am. Hmm, what happened to the old one? You know what, never mind. When they told me how poorly you did on your application questions, I had my doubts. What? But at least you showed up on time, so maybe there's hope. Well enough, chit chat. Let's get to work. You shit ass. Not quite. I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. I'm expecting a personal shipment. I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. Hmm. What's in the shipment? Yeah. A good assistant knows it's not their place to ask. Bad assistants get fired. Mediocre assistants get... You know what? I forgot where I was going with this, but it doesn't the matter. Just get it for me, will you? Also, I don't quite remember. But it is important, that I know. Hmm. I could, but we'd be wasting valuable time, so no. Right. Oh, do they cover nothing in orientation anymore? No, strike that. We got rid of orientation, didn't we? Anyway, it's not important. Sure. Your job is easy. You do what I ask, and that's pretty much it. I'm surprised you've forgotten that steer. All right, uh, new assistant. <laughs> I keep forgetting. God, you are a piece of shit, aren't you? I don't know. I At do. first, I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time, and they all just stopped showing up. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Wow. Yeah, you're a bona fide asshole. Yeah. I'd like to put a gun up your ass and pull the trigger. That's just me. <sighs> Almost break time. Hello, oh, buddy. Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Sure. Um... Considering I don't really know you, I'm not sure how to answer that. But Sidonia is a beacon of industry. There's plenty of work to go around. If you have mining experience, you may wish to check with whoever the current Deimos mining director is. Or maybe check with the Deimos Staryard corporate office. If those aren't your speed, then there are a number of local businesses that are always looking for help. Right. Well, I've been appointed governor, what, going on 20 years now, I believe. Every day, I am passionate about serving the hard-working people of Mars. I look out for their interests, I support their prosperity, and in return, they help make the United Colonies a shining beacon of hope for humanity. If you ask me, there's nothing better than that. I had no idea this guy was the the governor. You mean besides being the most important city of industry to our proliferation across the galaxy? Well, this is the home of yes, Demo Star Yards, that very one. which perfected grav drive technology and made honest to goodness space travel truly possible. And to this day, our mines and manufacturing are instrumental in delivering resources used throughout the United Colonies. We may not outshine fancier cities like New Atlantis on its surface, but without Sidonia, there would be no United Colonies. Whoa, that's a bold claim. Sidonia is not much of a tourist destination, unless you're interested in humanity's first major colony outside of Earth. But if you're not here for work and you're looking to kill some time, I'm uh, told the Martian surface is great for hiking. Beautiful scenery. Assuming you like shades of red. If you're looking to kick back after that and experience Martian nightlife, 
The Broken Spear is as good a local watering hole as any. Everything's red. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Sure. Considering, uh, coffee errand boy is not what you're thinking. Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? It sounds as though you have been spying on us, Governor. Huh. Thank not you, Walt. Not exactly spying. Word gets around and I'm one to listen when it does. I like to know what goes on in my city. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. I'm Brennan's not the assistant. Type. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Hmm. Word travels fast around Sidonia. It's my business to know these things. Frankly, I'm not worried about you. As long as you play your cards right, it'll stay that way. Really? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Whoa. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first. Oh, man, come on. Since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. Of course it was. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. How about you put your tight lips around the boot heel of my shoe? Or boot? Or space boot? I don't know. One of those two. Well, this is a tricky situation indeed. You're tricky. Not to get right? bogged down in details, but assuming this is the work of pirates, it's best to destroy the ship and everybody on board. Makes it cleaner for insurance purposes. Wow. Oh, it's a, a few reasons. I don't want this mired in their process. Also, it's a bit of an embarrassment for a sitting governor to lose a ship. So I'd rather that not get out. I'm sure you understand. So are all you fuckers that crooked or what? Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Uh, not that it was too loud or anything in between there. So, well, anyways. I figured this can be a short stream. What is your problem? The governor is in currently. Hello. Do you have business with Governor Hurst? Yeah, I already spoke to him. Ah, this is a good time to take advantage of his availability then. He's currently not too busy. Please, go right ahead. Why, thank you, Ethel. You're very welcome. Huh. Now these old nut jobs are crazy, huh? Well, anyways, my dudes. Yeah, I think this is where I'm going to call it for tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's just another short stream. But I'll keep playing it in spurts, and we'll just keep rocking as we go. Anyways, uh, I upload videos all the time on Midwest Plays, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, please give a like, comment, and subscribe wherever you can. Always appreciate the subs, because it always uh, gets you guys more in here. More uh, folks, you know, come my along for the ride. And I have talked about transferring to the same if you give the thumbs up, it gets these videos out, and more of you uh, sometimes get a chance like to check it out. Lines just run themselves. Um, I like to. If you are watching on Twitch, it does delete after seven days, so get your views in on that if you can before it's gone. And if you did miss one, I always upload them and leave them up on uh, my live tabs on YouTube, and also in a playlist. Every game that I play, it's on a, a playlist. So you should be able to check out it if you miss it. Oh, that lady in the background is creeping me the shit out. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we did two other streams tonight, or today, I guess, and, uh, yeah, we're making our way through Starfield, we're getting there, it's pretty what exciting, it's a fun game again? so far, uh, other than that, if you guys didn't check out also, we did the Game Awards, 
for 2023 and the win over the winner and everything else. And our full reaction to commentary for that is on here. So, yeah, check that out if you'd like. Other than that, you guys have a great night. And I'll see you dudes in the next one. Peace out.